Hey guys, it's me again. Bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout. I pull them panties down, he's smiling like they bought the food out. I hop up on their face and make my hips go like the luau. I showed you I'm a gay And today we're back with some more inventory unboxing. I'm gonna do a part two of this because my lashes are still you know in production because the boxes i created were a little bit more extravagant than the last box so they're still doing it and i'm not gonna be able to get them until i move back to college so i'll be doing moving vlog i'm moving to college this week on saturday so i'll be doing a vlog so i'm recording this video on monday i'm trying to upload it but by wednesday so then i can have stores to record the video for saturday for when i move in so yeah first i'm about to show you guys our new lip gloss collection it's called the sweet treat collection and yes, it took me a while to find this type of packaging because like I know I want to do something different. I don't want to just have lip gloss tubes or anything like that or put them in. You know people be putting in those holographic bags. I want to do something different that I've never seen anyone do. And I've never seen anyone use these boxes for lip gloss. I did see a bigger brand using these boxes for like lip liners or something. And I thought it was really cool. But their lip liners were like in a jar. So I was like, oh, you know, and they didn't have like a name on it. They just like used the boxes. So I was like, well, I'm not copying. I came up with the name myself. I didn't see the other company until I already paid for the boxes and they were like here. I'm like, you know, it's weird. Whenever you buy something and you receive it and then you go on the explore page, you start seeing the product everywhere. It was the same thing with my eyeshadow palettes. Like I never seen anybody using those palettes. And then once I received my palettes and I went on the explore page, I started seeing the palette everywhere. And I was like, what the heck? So yeah. But it just looks like this, you open it. You can't actually pull the stick, like it's not a real stick. So if you pull it, it's gonna come out. So it's like for decoration purposes only. So push out the top and the box slides out. And then we did get the tubes. We got the labels printed on the tube. So they're printed on, it's not a sticker. I paid a lot of money for this. So we're almost sold out of these actually. So get them while they're still in stock. Everything, I am shipping all my orders out this week. Everything, including wholesale. I have like 10 orders on my wall. I'm trying to do all those 400 glosses this week, ship everything out. So when I'm moving, I don't have to worry about anybody's order in the back of my head. I know that, oh, whatever orders I get while I'm moving, I have 10 to 21 business days to get them out. As far as wholesale, regular orders take four to five business days to ship out. So yeah. But here's the Sweet Treat collection. This is the cutest thing I've ever thought of. Like, I actually love this collection and I'm happy that I finally thought of something that was creative basically so this gloss scent is bubblegum and I I did a poll and I asked you guys like what candy scents y'all want everybody kept saying bubblegum and cotton candy so that's why I did those so this is bubblegum it smells exactly like bubblegum and this one's cotton candy so I just did blue and pink because you know that's what cotton candy is so yeah they're 10 ml I wanted to get 15 ml too but they wouldn't have not have fit in this box I have one 15 ml actually my vendor made me one and look, it's like literally bigger than the box. There is no way this would have fit in here. So if I would have got the 15 ml tubes, like I would have been crying because it wouldn't have worked in the in the box. So yeah. So we do have new tubes for our restock. I told you guys I'm sticking with the black and pink theme. So we have two boxes here. Yeah. We have tubes. And we have lip gloss boxes now because I want to, told you guys I want my brand to be a lot more professional. Like, I don't want to just be a regular lip gloss business that uses, like, little baggies and stuff. No, I'm trying to be professional with anything and everything I do from here on out. So I am putting a lot more money into my brand. Not that I have, I've been putting money, a lot of money in in the beginning, but I wasn't doing, like, creative packaging. Like, I was just using, like, the baggies for lip gloss. Basically. Like, I wasn't doing anything fancy. So... I only got 100 tubes to start off with just because I wasn't sure if I was going to really like these tubes and I'm going to compare them to my old tubes. So I only got 100 to start, but I did get two different colors, black and pink. So yeah, let's open. I think this is the tubes because this box has, this box is way bigger. So this has to be the tubes. And I got these tubes from the same vendor that made the Sweet Tree Collection tubes because this vendor, as soon as I paid, she shipped it like immediately. So this is like my new favorite vendor, except my, my last vendor is like my top vendor. Like love that lady to death but this new lip gloss tube vendor i found like she is amazing like she's the only vendor i have that will ship my stuff the same day like when i paid she immediately shipped it and even the the box the lip gloss for the sweet treat collection she made the tubes and shipped it all within five days like i love her so as soon as i paid i told her i was like i need these tubes quickly because i'm moving back to school and you know i don't want nothing to be coming to my mom's house while i'm like at school because then 
have to tell mom to ship it to me and that's just gonna take too long so yeah she just put the little foams at the top here are all the stoppers they just don't look like a hundred and maybe there's some more at the bottom okay So I, I know everybody has to see these shoes everywhere. They're not like new or anything. These are cute. Okay, let me do a comparison. Eh, they're the same size. These tubes are the same size. So these tubes say that they're 7.5 ml and this tube says it's 5 ml. But I don't believe that because the lip gloss, like this top is longer than this top. But as far as like the actual tube size, the tubes are the same size. So I believe this is actually 7.5 ml as well because they literally are the same size tubes. So yeah, I believe it's the same. Cause looking at it, the top, this top is longer, but the actual tube lengths are the same. So yeah, we have pink tubes. So the pink, the pink tubes will be for regular gloss. So any of my regular color glosses will come in pink tubes and nude glosses will come in black tubes and here are the black ones oh my god i love this this was like the smartest decision i ever made in my life and they're the they're the i'm gonna wash these anyway so it doesn't matter they're the um i don't know what these are called but the brush tips i guess and like people say that this these tips apply way more gloss so that's why i got these ones my vendor makes the other like the regular tips as well but i knew i wanted these so yes these are tubes oh my god i'm so excited so i got 75 pink and 25 black just to start off with i pray that i sell out doing my restock and that i do have to buy more tubes but just to be on the safe side i only got 100 because of my clear tubes i bought like 400 of those tubes and look how I'm changing my tubes like a few months later. So then I feel like I wasted money. That's why I'm trying not to buy so much tubes in advance like I usually do. Because as you guys can see, I changed my mind a lot. So, but hopefully these will be our tubes forever. Unless, you know, like a prettier shade of pink comes out. Because this pink is not, it's not necessarily the light pink that matches my brand. But it's the closest shade of pink I could find. So... That's why I went with these, cause I was like, I don't wanna have all black tubes, it's not gonna work. So yeah, this pink is pretty close to my brand color though. So I was like, we're gonna just do that. So now let's open the lip gloss boxes. I'm gonna open it from the bottom since we're going here. Let me tell you how, these boxes took a, uh, they didn't take it long to make, they actually made it in like three days. Because I, for, I was like, if I texted them, as soon as I found the vendor, I was like, can you produce this box in three days and ship it to me and I'll get it quickly like if you can't do that tell me now so i don't waste my time paying and this guy ensured assured me that he would be able to produce the boxes in three days and ship it i paid on monday the boxes were done on wednesday he shipped them on friday i think which wasn't our plan our plan was he's gonna ship it on wednesday as soon as they're done but then he started saying some stuff happened and he ended up not shipping them but all in all they still came on time so i was okay with it and then you know I paid for 200 boxes. I told him I wanted 150 pink and 25 black. Yeah. And when, after production, he was like, oh, the vendors made 100 extra tubes. Do you mind paying $22 and whatever? And I was like, why do I have to pay you money for something I never asked for? Like, I didn't ask you for the free to make me extra boxes. Like, I'm, I'm thankful for it, but it's like, now you're trying to make me pay for something I didn't ask for. So that's why I was like annoyed. Oh my God. These are so cute. But that's why I was annoyed with the vendor because I was just like, if you would have followed instructions, we would. But I have not paid him for the extra boxes just because I don't feel like I should have to pay for something I didn't ask for. But I probably will pay him the $22 because it's only $22. It's not that big of a deal. But he told me that if I don't like the box, I don't have to pay. But oh! Y'all, look it. So these are the black ones. I hope the tube fits in here because this box looks kind of small. So this is how they look flat. It says Noye. Because you know, I can't feel like Noye's cosmetics. That's too much. And I didn't want to put Noye's minks on here because these lip gloss doesn't really make sense. Okay, I got to do a test to see if the tube is going to fit. Because now I'm getting scared. 
Oh, never mind. The tube does fit. <laughs> it fits. <laughs> I was getting scared for a second. Oh my jeez. These are so cute. So I think this is going to be the bottom of the box. And I got little labels to put the colors on it. Because I'm going to put all the glosses in the box. And then just label them at the bottom. So I don't have to keep reopening the boxes. So I'm just, I'm not going to close it all the way. But here's how this box looks. So this one says nude gloss at the bottom and I put 7.5 ml because when I designed these boxes, I did not know I was changing my tubes. So that's why I said 7.5 ml, but I believe the mls are the same because the tubes are the same size. So I'm not about to cover it up. So the tube fits in here perfectly. So all is well. I was so nervous that it wasn't going to fit. Let me see how my original fit because now I'm starting to think. All oh, these tubes fit in here perfectly too. See, that's, see, I'm, I'm telling y'all it's the same size. Like, they both come to the very top of the box. They're literally the same size. But yeah, so nude glosses will come in the black boxes, of course, because you know, you get a nude gloss in a black tube, black box, and it comes to you just like this. This, oh. and then our regular gloss is gonna be called glam gloss. It's already called glam gloss on the website. Everybody says that, but now you know. We just made it more official. So these are the pink boxes. I'm kind of mad because, you know, the pinks don't necessarily match. But the reason the pinks don't match is because I thought I was going to be using my clear tubes. And I was like, it doesn't need to match. But now I feel like it's kind of stupid because they don't match. But either way, it's cute. So it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm trying to slide this out. It's not coming out. It's not coming out. Okay, here we go. And then this is the pink box. It says the same thing. All the ingredients are listed on the back. But there is an error, guys. Because, you know, I always somehow make errors on things. So when I sent the guy the, um, the PDF forms, uh, these ingredients are supposed to be on this box. And the ingredients on this box are supposed to be on this box. So that's the only mix up. All the ingredients and in all my lip glosses are the same. The only difference is the nude glosses are made with liquid pigments, not mica powder. So that's the only difference. So... Either way, you know what's in the gloss. It says liquid pigments on this box, but in the regular glosses, they're mica pigments, not liquid pigments. But liquid pigments and mica pigments are literally the same thing. Liquid pigments is literally powder pigment with castor oil, and that's how they make it to a liquid. So it's literally the same thing. But yeah, so that's the only error that's on my box, sadly. But it's okay because, you know, either way, it's still the same ingredients, so everybody knows what's in it and it just says the lip gloss ingredients okay let me use the black box maybe you'll be able to read it better this is the lip gloss ingredients is it gonna focus okay maybe it's not gonna focus but the lip gloss ingredients and then it says buy noise mix at the bottom let me build this box up now I'm kind of mad that the pinks don't match, but there's literally no pink tube that's like light pink. So it was never gonna match anyways, but it fits perfectly. When you get it, you just slide your gloss out. Oh my God, I love this. So yeah, the box looks so skinny. Like I was not, I felt like the tubes were not gonna fit, but everything fits perfectly. So yeah. All of our, well, I'm about to say all of our inventory is in. All of it's not in. All we're missing right now is our lashes. And I'll do an unboxing when I get those two because I know y'all going to want to see that. And I can't wait. And I hope the pink matches this pink because if not, I'm about to be mad. But don't forget, shop the Sweet Treat Collection. I can't wait for the restock. Our restock is August 25th. Um, I think it's going to be at like... 12 p.m the same time always because i i've been doing 12 a.m for my restocks and i realized that people most people are not awake at 12 a.m so i'm gonna do that 12 p.m because you know it's a school day by then so people should be awake people should, should be shopping it's gonna be a two i think the 25th is a tuesday if not i'll put it on the screen whatever day it is but yeah that's the restock so thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell most want to see on my channel and i'll definitely bring that to you guys so yeah love you guys peace